welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to another tutorial it's me ij and i'm back with a new tutorial if today is your first time of checking on this channel you are highly welcome my old and new subscribers you guys are amazing thanks for all your support today i'm back with a new tutorial today's tutorial is all about how to achieve a flounce you can use it to make your skirt you can use it to attach in any part of your project so today i'm making this lovely blouse that i want to attach flounce to the sleeve so i want us to diy this together to show to you guys how i achieve it now i'm going to use this satin to achieve this flounce so this is the satin that i'm going to use first thing i have to do is to iron this satin to use a gum stay to iron it because the flounce has to stand and now i have finished ironing the gum stay to the satin that we are using this satin i will use it also as the lining so this part that i've just ironed the gum stay is the lining and this part is the body of the flounce that we are making so now i have finished ironing it to it remember this flounce is going to have i'm going to also use crinoline to turn it crinoline will make it to stand because this blouse that i'm making i want the flounce that i'm going to attach at the sleeve to be to stand and also i want to pleat it i want to pleat it so i'm going to now take the measurement of the sleeve where i'm going to attach it to so this is the sleeve where i'm going to attach it to so now i'm going to take my measurements so the measurements i have is 20 inches so i'm going to make use of 19 why i will use half inch to join it to the body at the upper side and i also use half inch to fold it at the down so i'm going to make use of 19 inches so being that i'm going to make it to go round two times i'm going to times the 19 by 2 which is going to give me 38 so the circumference of what i'm going to cut out is going to be 38 inches so now how to achieve it is i'm going to start here i'm going to my starting point will be at the point where these two lines meet together that is my starting point from there I'm going to start taking my measurement of 4 4 inches and I want to use this crinoline also to turn it so I would like to know the length of the crinoline the length I'm using the crinoline is 2 inches so I would like this flounce to be 4 inches so now I'm going to mark 4 all through I'm going to mark four all through. I'm going to mark four. You see it? I've marked four inches. These four inches I'm using is inclusive the seam allowance to close it up us and also to join it to our sleeve that is why it is four inches so on this point now i'm going to come up on this i will now check the midpoint that i have here is two inches i'm going to come up by quarter inch then i'm going to connect it in this form this is where i'm going to start so from this point now from this point i'm going to mark four inches do you see it? I'm going to mark 4 inches. So this, my 4 inches is going to start on this curve that I made. Do you see it? 4 inches. 4 inches. And when I came to this line, I'm going to start with the normal circle. Do you see it? Now I'm coming with this circle. To make my four inches. I'll continue my four inches on the normal circle.
out guys when we come to the point where we started remember from this point that we coughed to this four inches the point that we coughed to four inches we started our four inches from this point so now this is from here this is our four inches do you see it here is our four inches which we started curving for four inches from this particular new curve and not the straight line but from this curve so when we now we now came curving it for four inches then we now come to the point where we started the four inches there we'll continue our four inches here you can decide to add more inches to it or to reduce your inches but you have to start from the new four inches that we just created so you continue four inches you continue going with your four inches if you want you can start with five inches from this point that you started or from any side that you want you can start with five inches or you can reduce with three inches depending on the style that you are making so i'll continue with four inches do you see it i'll continue with four inches also four inches until i have the 38 length that i'm looking for so i'll continue it Do you see it guys this is our four inches so now when you cut it out and you measure you are going to have exactly the length that you need if it is excess you cut out what you don't need if it is less you know you will start again but it's better that you make it to be excess than to be less so the best thing to do now before cutting it out is to hold it with my pin so that i can immediately start sewing it so i will now use my pin to pin it down I've used my pin to hold it down it is more easier so after cutting it you directly start sewing it so here that we started I'm going to join it from the point of the four that we started for you to know where to cut out do you see it so we are going to cut it from this side do you see it? We'll start cutting. So now, the next thing is to cut out our flounce. So I'm going to start here, which is easy for me. Do you see it? I'm going to start up. Now, guys, when you get to this point, you are going to curve it from where we came up by half inch to cut it out. Do you see it? You are going to cut it in this form. You are not going to cut it again here because when you cut it, it's going to be short. It's from there that we came up by half inch, the starting point that you are going to curve and you now cut it out. Do you see it? So this is what you are going to cut out. So let's see our flounce. Now guys, do you see our flounce? Do you see it? This is our flounce. Do you see it? So this is our flounce. So since we have now pinned it down with our pin to cut it, do you see it? We have just cut it out. We have just pinned it with our pin to cut it out. The next thing to do now is just to take it to the sewing machine to sew it. Because it's the right side facing each other and the gum stay is on it. That is why it is better you add your gum stay before cutting it out. Because after cutting it out, to add your gum stay is a little bit tricky. 
and also cut it together with the lining it is going to be equal than cutting it and then placing your lining to cut it it's not going to be easy but cutting it together is the perfect way of cutting out flounce so now the next thing to do is just to take my go to take my crinoline to start sewing it up so i'm going to use my crinoline let me show to you guys so i'll just take it take my crinoline do you see it to start sewing it do you see it i'm going to start sewing it from the side of the lining i'm going to attach the crinoline to the side of the like the gum stick which is the lining so now i'm going to attach it in this form do you see it so i'm going to use it to sew it because i want the flounce to stand on this sleeve that i'm making you, you can equally use it to make your six pieces skirt or any part of the project you are working with this is the way to cut out a flounce to achieve your goal now guys this is our flounce i've turned it with the lining and also with the crinoline for it to stand do you see it do you see it so the next thing to do now is to attach it to my sleeve if you are using it to make a rose the next thing you do is to use it to make your rose now the next thing is to insert our flounce to our sleeve now this is my sleeve this is the normal sleeve that i'm going to insert this is one of the sleeve so the second sleeve is this the one that i'm going to use for the flounce so i added half inch seam allowance because i'm going to cut it open so let me place the two together for you to see do you see it this is my half inch seam allowance because i'm going to cut it open so now let me cut it open you see it i've cut it open and also i use interfacing i use some interfacing to gum on it so that it's going to be hard enough to carry the flounce so this is the one that is going to be used for the flounce so i'm going to attach the flounce here remember we are going to pleat it we are going to pleat the flounce so i'm going to take one of it any one i'm going to take it this is how it's going to be. So I'll take my now take my flounce to attach to it. Remember, the side that you top stitch on the flounce is going to be inside. So I'm going to start with it in this form. So I'll take it now to attach. Do you see? Remember, half inch, I'm going to leave half inch at the down and also half inch at the top. Because the half inch I'm going to use it to attach to the blouse and this i'm going to use it to turn the lining i also have the lining because i'm going to use the lining to cover up the the flounce inside so that is why i cut out my lining so now i'm going to start folding it you can fold you can pleat but we are making the pleats do you see it i'll now pleat it in this form leaving my half inch allowance at the down i'll now use my pin to hold it I will now make my next pleat. Do you see it? I will now use my pin to hold it. Remember, this pleat we are making, we are going to make it double. We are going to pleat till here and we will now pleat it again. That is, we are going to make it double. Do you see it? So this is how I'm going to pleat it till I come to this upper part where I left half inch. Then I will now pleat it back again after which i'll now use my this part to cover it up in this form then i'll sew it i'll show it to you now i have fixed our flounce do you see it do you see how it is this is so beautiful so the next thing to do now is to use the other part of the sleeve to cover it up so i'm just going to cover it up in this form you see it i'll place it to cover it up 
you see it i'll do that and i'll use the lining to turn it and now guys this is our sleeve with the flounce the pleated flounce do you see it so beautiful so the next thing to do now is just to use our lining to cover it up we are using this lining to cover it up because of here and also because of the interfacing that is why we are using the lining to make it look neat so what do you have to do just take your it take your lining place it in this form i'm going to place it in this form i'm going to sew it i'm going to sew it up in this form then turn it and sew it again i'll show it to you guys the first thing to do is to sew it in this form do you see it i'll sew it with half inch that we left i'll sew it then i'll turn it to show to you guys see it i have now used the lining to sew the down of it so the next thing i have to do is just to close it up in this form just to close it up in this form and then stitch it and from inside i will now take it out so after you have sewn the lining this is the lining to the down that is to the opening of the hem you sew it then you now open it up in this form do you see how i open it up then you now fold it back putting the ruffles inside then you now sew it from here till the end you sew it from one end to, to the other then you now bring it out from the shoulder side let's have close it from this edge till this edge so what you have to do is just to put your hand from here just put your hand from here and take in the lining you see it just take the lining in this form close it up then you turn your sleeve Just turn your sleeve. Do you see it? Do you see our sleeve? After that you now press it and it will now be flat do you see it this is our sleeve our flounce pleated sleeve do you see it so guys do you see our sleeve so beautiful do you see it and that's the inside of it so neat do you see it so this is the way it looks so this is our sleeve made pleated flounce do you see it so the next thing i have to do now is to attach it to the blouse that we are making and we will now see how it looks like now guys i have attached our sleeve the pleated flounce to the blouse that we are making do you see it I have attached it so now i'll put it on the mannequin for us to see how it looks if this guys this is the sleeve that we have just diy do you see how beautiful it is don't forget to like share and comment on my videos and if you have not subscribed consider subscribing subscription is free and hit on the notification bell that whenever i upload you will be the first to be notified i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video Bye.